Welcome to another Midweek Memo. Every act of planting a seed requires a certain amount of faith. Could this tiny, inner little thing really, truly, one day become a great big tree? When Jesus talked about the kingdom of God, he used a parable that involved the seed. He was talking about wherever he, Jesus, is recognised as king. And he said this, It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on the earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. The disciples must have felt that very keenly in the early days of Jesus' ministry. There they were out there in the middle of Judea, following a man who was really trying to dismantle the entirety of the established status quo, the religious authorities and the national ones too. And he was supposed to be bringing the whole kingdom of God. By the end of his ministry, they must have felt it even more. As they stood at the foot of the cross, they must have looked up at their former teacher and thought, it's done. This is going nowhere. And yet, Jesus rose. And not only did he rise again, 2,000 years later, and many thousands of miles away, and in a totally different culture and language, here we are still telling the same story. The mustard seed of Jesus' ministry has ballooned into a kingdom of many billions of followers. But this isn't the end. One day the Lord Jesus will return and his reign will be so visible that no soul and no part of creation will be able to deny it. He will finally be King of Kings and Lord of Lords in a way that no one can doubt. That story of the mustard seed is still relevant in the lives of believers today. We had a little picture of it here at the Community Day on Saturday. We had all sorts of individuals uh, around the uh, church building doing little tasks and perhaps not necessarily feeling particularly significant or important in it. But step back and see the product and it's amazing. The place looks fantastic. But it's not just Saturday, it's the whole of our Christian lives. So much of our lives following Jesus are just little moments, tiny little mustard seeds, a prayer here, a small unnoticed act of kindness there, a faltering stand for Christ in the workplace, an attempt not so successful at sharing the good news with a friend. And all of these things can seem so vanishingly small in their significance that sometimes you wonder, well, is it even worthwhile at all? And yet, what I want to encourage you, and I think Jesus wants us to think in those moments, is to keep the mustard seed and the tree in mind. All of those little acts of recognizing Jesus is Lord are part of the great sweep of his purposes that one day, ultimately, will end up in the Lord Jesus proclaimed as King over all the world. And so the next time you're in one of those mustard seed moments, don't just see the mustard seed, see the tree. Or, as I put it on Sunday, remember, the Kingdom of God grows mini megalously. A couple of notices. One part of believing in that mustard seed model is believing in the power of prayer. And I'd love to invite you to join us this evening at Prayer at the Centre. For the first time in a really long time, it's here in person, and I'd love you to come and join us. You see, the thing about much of the growth of the mustard seed kingdom is that we don't see it, but God has given us a way of engaging in it, and that is by prayer. So we're gonna be coming together to pray for the needs of our church, We're going to be bringing in particular all those concerns about service that we've been talking about now for the last couple of weeks. We've got so much going on. We've got loads of new people coming to us. We've got great gifts in the church family. And yet, for the moment, we can't field all of those needs. And so we want to come together as a church family and seek the Lord, look for his guidance and ask him to help us. That's prayer at the centre this evening 
uh, 8 p.m. here in the church building. And secondly, this Saturday, we've got the Christians in Science Conference also happening here at the church building. It's gonna be a fantastic occasion thinking, what, what does it mean as a Christian to be thinking about the environment? And uh, there's gonna be a, a range of different speakers just opening up that theme for us and encouraging us in that, so relevant in this year of COP26. Further details for that in the links below in the description or if you're on Instagram, in the link tree. Thanks for joining us.